Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's becoming increasingly controversial in the gaming world, the rising trend of paid early access. Yes, it's about paying more just to get your hands on games a bit earlier, and why this practice could spell trouble for gamers and the industry alike. Let's unpack this. First off, paid early access is not exactly new, but its increasing popularity among big publishers is worth noting. Games like Star Wars Outlaws are now offering early access for a hefty price tag, often over $100. But why is this becoming more mainstream? Simply put, it's profitable. As long as gamers are willing to pay extra, companies have little incentive to stop. Adding to the complexity of this issue is the current economic climate. With the global economy teetering on the edge of a recession, rising food prices and the soaring costs of living, discretionary spending is tighter than ever. In such times, the extra financial burden of paid early access feels more significant than ever. Let's talk about the impact on us, the gamers. Not only are we facing higher base prices for games, now often hitting the $70 mark, but the added early access fees are putting a further strain on our wallets. This practice risks making gaming a beloved escape for many an unaffordable luxury for the working class. So what can we do about it? Change won't happen overnight and it certainly won't happen without a collective effort. If gamers start pushing back against paying extra for early access, we might see a shift in how companies approach this business model. It's all about where we decide to put our money. In conclusion, while early access can be a tempting offer, especially for highly anticipated titles, it's important to consider the long-term implications of where we choose to spend our gaming dollars. As the industry evolves, so too should our strategies as consumers. What are your thoughts on paid early access? Have you ever paid extra for it and was it worth it? Let me know in the comments below and if you found this discussion insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that bell for more gaming news and reviews.